every situation is different. So again, every dog is different. Every situation is different. It was just me and her. So when I was gone, she could rest, take naps. Um, sometimes we'll visit family and friends and she'll get to see other dogs. And yeah, she gets exhausted. She gets excited, but she gets exhausted. And sometimes it, it does take a toll on her health. Um, so when it's just me and her, you know, she's got the opportunity to just take a nap while I'm gone or she's, you know, and rest and, and, and recover. And, um, and, you know, I was fortunate enough to catch the cancer back in 2016 because I was, I was, I, I was fortunate enough to be at home with her and getting money and, and be at home with her because if I would have been working full time, and, and this would have happened to her in 2016. She, she, she may have died. She probably would have died if I wouldn't have been home that day. Um, so I was just fortunate enough during that time, blessed enough that I got to spend the next four months with her going to different veterinarians, figuring out if it had metastasized, figuring out what the best option was going to be for me, and um, just trying to do my part fully and then just fully be there for her 100%. Now it's completely understandable you could be in a situation where you're working full time or you got a big family, a lot of kids. Um, and if that's the case, it's it's going to be a little more challenging. You know, it's it's not it, it's it, it's not you can definitely do it, but it's it's different than mine because it was just me and her and so she could rest while I was gone or if you got a big family, again, in my opinion, moderation. So if you got a big family and you have a dog that has mast cell tumor cancer, um, a lot of kids around and your dog gets worked up a lot with the kids, that's perfectly fine in moderation, but just let the dog be around them a little bit and then let your dog have its alone time, have its nap time. Make sure your dog gets eight hours of sleep in the dark if it's, all, if, if it's at all possible. Um, your dog's definitely going to have to become an indoor dog um, once they become, they get mast cell tumor cancer. Uh, I don't think they have a real great shot if they continue being an outside dog. They really need to be an inside dog after they get the mast cell tumor cancer so they can be around you. So you can constantly pet them, love them. Yes, play with your kids. Um, you know, do this, this daily stuff that you have to do. But again, you, with your dog, if, if they get bent out of shape with playing with the kids, with doing this and that, just also make sure that dog gets his or her alone time um, to take a nap, to rest, to rejuvenate. Mm -hmm.